Folks, welcome back. Week seven of Don's Picks. If you watched last week, you know we went 2-0 on the Luscious Locks. Two picks, two winners. But I have a special surprise this week because I've been red hot for doing something different. I am giving out picks for every single game, not just the prime times, not just the bills, and not just the luscious lock, every single game. Now here's how it's gonna work. Prime time, I'm still gonna give you spread over under. For every other game, I'm just gonna give you my favorite pick based on spread or over under. Props, you're gonna have to follow me on Twitter for that. Still gonna give you the luscious lock, which one I like the best, and that's how it's gonna be. And we're gonna do it rapid fire, so let's get right into it. Thursday night football, Jags at Saints. Man, I said rapid fire, and this, this one's tough. You know what? I'm gonna start off this first game by using my call friend hotline. I never do this, but I have an expert. I'm gonna talk to her about this. Bing! Jaguars or Saints? Jaguars. Saints, minus two, and it's gotta be under. It's gotta be under. I mean, both these teams, it's gonna be a defensive battle. Okay, rapid fire. We're into the Sunday games. We got Bills at Pats. Don't think about it too much. Bills minus eight and a half. Pats are dog shit. They're dead. They're one and five. Bills are covering. This is where the Bills thrive against shitty teams. They'll cover with ease. Browns at Colts. Man, I want to take the Colts even without Anthony Richardson because Gardner Minshew, he's, he's a magician. Brown's defense is too good though, uh, under. We're going under 41, honestly, I might sell some points and pick like under 39 because this is gonna be a running game. Lions, Ravens, hey, I know they say never take the public dog, but I'm going with, with the Lions. I'm sorry, I believe in them. I think that Lions are real. The Ravens, I, I think, even despite the record, they got some problems. Lions plus three. Raiders at Bears, ooh, yeah. Uh, we're going Bears money line. We're going Bears money line, plus 120. This reminds me of the Commanders game. Bears at home. Fields is gonna have a little magic in them. Uh, yeah, they're gonna get their second one of the season. Commanders at Giants. Uh, it's not sexy, but I'm taking Commanders. Minus two and a half. I know you're saying, Don, but my book says three. Well, here, here's what's called line shopping. You can get minus two and a half at minus 115, and it's probably gonna be even money in some other places. Take them. The Giants, they gave everything they got Sunday night. They got nothing left. They're not going to win their first game. Doesn't matter that it's at home. Book it. Cards at Seahawks. Ooh, we got a great NFC West Coast bird matchup. Uh, Cardinals plus seven and a half. Seahawks win. They do win, but I'm looking at a four point win. Something like 24 to 20, uh, 21, 17. Those cards are going to cover this plus seven and a half. Steelers at Rams. All right, this is where I think the Steelers are, are going to thrive. They're getting plus three. What that's telling me is uh, all the Rams are getting are the three points you get at home. So Vegas sees these teams as pretty evenly matched. Steelers find a way. They always find a way. They're going to they're gonna cover this three by getting a safety or something wacky. You know how, that they're going to lose by one or two, but they'll cover the three. Pack at the Broncos. I don't even want to pick this game, man. This is, this is another one that's just stupid. Uh, yeah, stupid game. Um, so anytime I see a stupid game like this, uh, we're going under, under 45. Chargers Chiefs. Now, this is interesting. Chargers always find a way to cover with the Chiefs. They've done it a lot. Chiefs uh, have not been covering at all this year. Um, they've been winning, but not covering. Uh, but man, the Chargers D is bad. And the Chiefs D is pretty good. Uh, I'm picking the under, under 48, under, under. All right, that brings us now to Sunday night football. Sunday night football, we got the Finns at the Eagles. Everyone's been looking forward to this matchup. Uh, you know what? I think the Finns at plus two and a half are free. I'll take that. I'll take two and a half points for them. I think the Eagles have struggles. Yes, the Finns don't have defense, but I think the Eagles D is gonna get exposed a little bit against, against this team. Um, over under 51 and a half. As I just said, Miami has no defense, and I don't think the Eagles' defense is good either. So I'm taking over 51 and a half. I think we're looking at a Miami, you know, 31 27 win. And that brings us to Monday Night Football. This, this one's interesting. We got the 49ers going to Minnesota, face the Vikings. Vikings are getting seven points, over under 44. Um, this kind of reminds me of that game early in the season. Uh, Vikings getting six and a half and everyone's like, Eagles, less than a touchdown, sign me up, so easy. What happens? Vikings lose by six and they cover the six and a half. So I'm taking the Vikings, seven. 
I'm um, hoping it goes up to seven and a half to get on the right side of that touchdown as the week goes on. We will see. Um, but I'm taking the under two, under 44. I think this is a classic 49ers game where they're just going to try to grind out a win. And, um, you know, they got some injuries too. They're coming off that Browns loss. Uh, they're just going to grind it out, not get any style points. And that is all our games except what's that? Our luscious lock of the week, folks. And this one's fun. If you know me, if you follow me, you know this one's fun because you're not going to see this coming. Your luscious lock of the week is Tampa Bay minus two and a half at home. Take it on the Falcons. I know if you know me, like I said, you follow me, you're like, Don, you are a Baker hater and you're back in Baker. Exactly. That's why this is a genius pick. That's why this pick is going to bring us to eight and one is because this is something I would never do. And I kind of hate doing it. It makes me feel dirty. But listen, I've gone over the data. I've looked at other other lines, other things in the book that tell you signs. My hair, the luscious locks have been whispering to me. They say bucks minus two and a half. So take that for your luscious lock of the week. Follow me on Twitter. I'm gonna have a couple other plays. They're not, I couldn't make them luscious lock of the week status, but there's a bunch I like this week. So follow me there. And folks, gamble responsibly, have fun with it. And remember, this train never stops.